Let's talk about this uh, Mac, 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 Daddy and Cheese. I don't know if it was necessarily the Mac and Cheese or my wrapping that you all enjoyed. Uh, some shallots go down and a little bit of garlic. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to, to handle garlic and to handle shallots is to kind of slow roast them. When you slow roast them, you kind of bring out that sweetness that you really love about it. People say, oh, I don't like garlic. It's so bitter. It's so Because you probably had it the wrong way. Come over here to Daddy Dr. Garlic, and I'll help you out. <laughs> OK? All right. So we get those together in a little bit of a uh, tent, hit it with a little olive oil. Actually, I like to throw a little salt and a little pepper in there, too. Kind of sealed up, not super, super tight. Check it out. And down we go on a pan. Kind of a nice little Easter basket-y thing. <laughs> OK, in uh, about 325, 20 minutes or so. Now, while that's going and getting nice and uh, caramelized, let me get some bacon and some heavy cream. And this is going to be kind of the beginning and start. Is it the cream? Yeah. You all big cream fans? I like that. I, I didn't, you didn't strike me as cream fans, but I... OK, always check it, too. I'll tell you a great story. One time I'm making fettuccine, a uh, Cajun chicken Alfredo. Um, or actually, it's tequila turkey fettuccine. And uh, we got the, you know, because I always get those mixed up. <laughs> and we asked my buddy's wife to stop. He's not his wife anymore, actually. But we asked her <laughs> to stop and get the cream for us, the heavy cream. And it was, uh, it was actually the sweetened heavy cream. So make an Alfredo sauce with that. And my buddy that's watching this right now is dying that I said that. <laughs> but just keep it between us and the other 400 million people watching this. OK, a little time going into this. Forget it. I'm not taking it off the stem. I don't have any time for that. But I'll... This cream is going to reduce down by about a third if I turn the heat up. OK, now I'm going low and slow on the bacon because I really want to render down the fat and get some nice crispy bacon because I'm going to pile that on top of this Mac, 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 Daddy and Cheese. <laughs> That's all I can sing. OK, so here's the deal. The tenders are working. The cream's going down. The bacon's cooking. I salt the water. I add the pasta. When you come back, it's Mac Daddy Mac and Cheese. And the party continues. See you in a minute. OK, shallots and garlic. Hot, 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 hot. And don't tell me you don't do that at home. <laughs> OK? Now, the bacon's going to work in two different ways. One, it's going to be a nice, crunchy topping. And two, it's going to work as the base of my, uh, my roux that's going to work with my cream to tighten up to make my cheese sauce. Yes. I know you're all. Bacon, cheese sauce? Yeah, my middle name. OK. Open those bad boys up. Get that garlic out. This is a great way to do it. I'll tell you, if you take some garlic like this, this whole thing I did with the shallots, and go ahead and make a spread out of it and put it on top of some bread and hit a little fresh Roma tomatoes on top of that. You will love it. Who took my knife? That one's a... Turkey man took it? It's getting close to your day, isn't it? OK. Give these a quick little chop up. Talk amongst yourselves. Your favorite turkey recipe? These go in. Now, so I've got some hot oil. I got the shallots and garlic. They're doing their time. Let's get over with a little bit of flour. Why do you keep putting these over here? What's your, I don't know what your, I mean, the whole time. OK, a little bit of flour goes down, make some roux. Try not to ruin, no, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to say it. I let it go. Come on. Halfway through, I let it go. OK, now. Here we go. We get this down. Now, we could put a little color on this if we want, kind of darken it up if we were doing a gumbo or something. But right now, I'm making it kind of blonde. Now, I'm going to hit him with some cream. Now, the cream's been doing some time. That I can do. OK? Let me scoop that time out of there. Get that out of the way. OK, now, what's happened here is it's reduced by about a third. Now, adding the warm cream in right now is kind of the kicker. If you put in the cold cream on top of the flour, that's when you, well, you don't know why you get mystery dumplings in your gravy. <laughs> OK, so just a little at a time, right in on top of that. And this works as the bridge to adding in our cheese. So people make mac and cheese, and they say, well, as soon as I heat my cheese up in the microwave, 
As soon as I heat up in the microwave, I don't have anything against microwaves. But as, as soon as you heat up the microwave, it all kind of tightens up so much. You get that big clump at the bottom of the fondue pot. It's because uh, you push the cheese too fast, and it kind of tightens up and forms into a ball. So there we go. Done with this guy. You know the movie? Done with this guy. <laughs> all right, now we get a little pepper jack. Jack cheese works great at... <laughs> Members of the Pepper Jack Society over here. So we get the cheese in. Get a little cheddar in. Again. I'm gonna save it just a little. Ah, forget it, everybody. Like we're watching our diet today. Okay, stir this up into here. Just kind of get it coated with that. Let me get a little salt and pepper down on it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now reach over. Hot, hot. Yeah. <laughs> Let that drain out a second. Try not to drop it. Now, I like to use penne in mine. I'm not a big, you know, I like to use the elbow macaroni when I'm making mac salad. But this right here, this has got some real nice texture to it. So the penne is my way to go. Rigate, you know, with the edges on it so it holds some sauce. Okay, so we mix that around. Now, and I've got every utensil I own out. <laughs> Let's see here, clear a landing spot, somebody. Down into the dish. Now, this is already cooked. Oh, I know. I'm crying inside. Good call. Little panko on top. There we go. We're going to hit a little bit of parsley on top of that for some great color. What do you think with that bacon? You think I should do time with that? Absolutely. A little bit of bacon. There we are. And I got some olive oil here. Now, what's going to happen, I'm going to pop this in the oven at about 350 for about 20 minutes and let that brown up nice. But believe it or not, I got another one. And one of the things I like about Off the Hook is you all get to eat some of it.